प्रसार भारती अभिलेखा गा की प्रस्तुति सदा बहार सुनहरे दौर का अनमोल खजाना And as the band moves forward, the Central Reserve Police Force marching contingent just behind them, commanded by Deputy Commandant Sri Harpal Singh. The CRPF, one of the oldest Central Police Forces of the country. And behind them, the band from the Indo-Tibetan Border Police, led by Inspector Netralal Thapa. The tune they play is Ham Sarhad Ke Senani Ham Sache. Two bands following each other, the Indo-Tibetan Border Police Band and now the Indo-Tibetan Border Police Marching Contingent. These officers and men of the ITBP force, they keep a constant vigil on the northern border it's a high altitude area, braving the inhospitable climate there. The sub-zero temperatures that sometimes even go down to minus 400 degrees Celsius. The ITPP was a judge as the best marching contingent among the central paramilitary forces for three consecutive years. Behind them, the Special Service Bureau Band SSB Sandesh, Sub-Inspector SK Bharti leading this band. The Special Service Bureau is making its maiden appearance in the Republic Day Parade. It was raised in 1963 with the primary aim and objective of spreading the message of nationhood and national belonging to far-flung border areas. The contingent is led by Commandant Heman Basant Kumar Singh, Assistant Commandant Heman Basant Kumar Singh. The CISF Marching Contingent Band, led by Sub-Inspector J.S. Gill. You can see them on the screens now. They are Orca uniforms. The smartly dressed contingent from the Central Industrial Security Force. The CISF Contingent, under the command of Assistant Commandant Aditya Chha on your screens now. The force has been entrusted with the security of over 300 vital installations, including space centers, the atomic energy plants, the oil installations, and steel plants. Thus, they protect all of 82 installations across the country. And off late, they've also been entrusted the security of the airport, as well as other vital government buildings. Now we have the Railway Protection Force, band led by Bandmaster S. Kalu Ram, Railways, marching contingent now, led by Assistant Security Commissioner Ms. Ruchira Chatterjee. 144 other ranks as well as three subordinate officers in this contingent. The RPF has earned recognition and glory by performing its responsibility ably. The band of the Delhi Police now playing the Delhi Police song. Sub-Inspector Murlidhar leads this band. With you, for you, and always with you. The Delhi Police motto. The smartly attired contingent of the Delhi Police, led by Assistant Commissioner of Police, Sanjeev Kumar Yadav and they have attained the rare distinction of winning the coveted best marching contingent trophy 11 times since 1987. It also has the distinction of participating in the Republic Day Parade since 1950 when India became a republic. The Delhi Police Marching Contingent smartly turned out men of the Delhi Police who guard this capital city. And to tell us more now, we have Mita. 
और अब सलामी मंच के सामने सीपी सैनी के नेतृत्व में होम गार्ड का बैंड ये जहां दलदल पर धुन बजा रहा है और इनके ठीक पीछे होम गार्ड का मार्चिंग दस्ता इसका गठन 1946 में चीनी आक्रमण के दौरान किया गया इस बल का मुख्य दायित्व प्राकृतिक तथा अन्य आपदाओं में देश की सेवा करना है होम गार्ड कानून एवं व्यवस्था बनाए रखने में मदद करते हैं और इस दस्ते का नेतृत्व अशोक कुमार कर रहे हैं और ये राष्ट्रपति सलामी लेते हुए और उनके पीछे आप देख रहे हैं राष्ट्रीय कैडेट कोर सीनियर डिवीजन के लड़कों का मार्चिंग दस्ता जो कि गर्व के साथ मार्च करता हुआ सलामी मंच की ओर अग्रसर है इसमें 148 युवा और उत्साही एनसीसी कैडेट शामिल हैं। दस्ते का नेतृत्व सीनियर अंडर ऑफिसर महेंद्र कर रहे हैं 1948 में गठित तेरह लाख कैडेटों का यह संगठन विश्व के सबसे बड़ा युवा संगठनों में से एक है एनसीसी कैडेट अपने निस्वार्थ परिश्रम एवं त्याग के लिए जाने जाते हैं और उसके पीछे एनसीसी कैडेटों का बैंड एनसीसी के सीनियर डिवीजन लड़कों के पीछे बैंड पश्चिम बंगाल व सिक्किम निदेशालय के प्रेसिडेंसी मुस्लिम हाई स्कूल तथा पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ निदेशालय के सैनिक स्कूल कपूरथला से कैडेटों के दल का नेतृत्व कयामुद्दीन ने किया बैंड कदम से कदम बढ़ाए जा धुन बजा रहा है और ये एनसीसी सीनियर डिवीजन लड़कियों का मार्चिंग दस्ता इसका नेतृत्व सीनियर अंडर ऑफिसर लता शेट्टी कर रही हैं। एनसीसी की सामान्य गतिविधियों के अतिरिक्त एनसीसी की इन कैडेटों ने भी पर्वतारोहण अभियानों रैलियों और ग्लाइडिंग में हिस्सा लिया है और ये बिरला बालिका विद्यापीठ पिलाने का बैंड इसका नेतृत्व सार्जेंट प्रियंका ने किया And now the marching contingent of the National Service Scheme, approaching the dais, comprises 160, 160 NSS volunteers drawn from 79 universities and 26 schools and technical boards from all over the country, truly representing every facet of our life, every community, every religion. Here at the Republic Day Parade, and the audience, as you can see, is completely enchanted, entranced by the spectacle. The NSS was started in 1969 during Mahatma Gandhi's birth centenary in 37 universities involving 40,000 students. It now has as many as 20 lakh volunteers on its roads, doing community service, spreading literacy and creating awareness for protection of the environment by doing community service. The NSS proud to take part in the Republic Day Parade. You can see them ladies and gentlemen, people from all parts of the country. And now behind them, a band, the massed pipes and drums from various regiments of the Indian Army marching towards the saluting days. Led by Subedar Ilongavan of the 2nd Madras Regiment, they're playing the tune Veer Senani. The massed pipes and drums, the skirling of the bagpipes fills the air and you can see the drummers with their traditional leopard skin uniforms. And now it's time for the cultural pageant in this year's Republic Day Parade. The tableau from various states are approaching and leading them this year is a tableau from Lakshadweep, the beautiful islands in the Arabian Ocean, depicting the rhythm of land and sea of Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep is sheer poetry of blue shades of sea and sky with mystic whiteness and greenery merging, intermingling and generating a symphony of liveliness. From the farthest corner of our country comes this tableau and look at the happy people dancing over there. The white sands, the palm trees, the thatched huts depicting the beauty and the allure of these beautiful coral islands. Behind them the tableau from Madhya Pradesh depicting the Bhagoria festivals the tribal practice of selecting their spouses through traditional festival of Bhagoria is projected in this tableau. 
Bagoria literally means the kidnapping of a Bheel maiden by her ardent lover. Through this festival, unmarried male and female youths choose their future brides and grooms by rubbing vermilion on the cheeks of their sweethearts. A wonderful thought on this Republic Day Parade. This festival is celebrated near the festival of Holi. We can see the festivities going on in the village. The miniature Ferris wheel, the drummers, the Mela going on. General air of celebration and gaiety. And now the tableau from Karnataka depicting that beautiful heritage site, Hampi, with its architectural skills and abundance of wealth. It was a center of the Vijayanagar kingdom, one of the most prosperous kingdoms of ancient India. The Hampi ruins are situated near Bellari in Karnataka. Though in ruins, it still retains its majesty and is imposing and attracts attention and great admiration of architects, historians and archaeologists, apart from tourists from near and far. Hampi, poetry in stone. Recent excavations have thrown new light on the beauty and architectural skills of this civilization. And now, a lovely tableau from a lovely state, the state of Jammu and Kashmir, depicting the musical instruments of Kashmir, Saz e Kashmir. Look at the beauty that is depicted, natural beauty and the beauty of the ladies as they dance, and the beautiful music of the musicians. There, the Chinar tree in its autumnal glory of red and gold, and beneath it, the musicians joyously playing music. The flowers, the traditional architecture, and I'm sure our chief guest will be appreciating this as he will see many strains common with his country, Iran. And behind that, we have the tableau of Delhi. From the traditional beauty of Kashmir, we move on to the contemporary significance of the metro. The Delhi metro, which has been just launched recently, a symbol of assurance for the people that a new and sophisticated urban rapid transport system is making its appearance in the capital city. We can see the metro depicted here, and the president particularly seems pleased to look at it. This is only the second metro in the country, as we know, the first being the Calcutta metro. The automatic doors, the people, the commuters, congregating on the platform, waiting to get into the train. And there we see a glimpse of the train as it passes overhead also, and commuters below it. Everybody debating on the merits of the metro, which attracted so much attention when it was inaugurated. And behind the Delhi metro comes a tableau from the neighboring state of Haryana depicting mushrooms. You can see the white mushrooms all over in different sizes on that tableau. A healthy person is an asset to the nation. Towards this, mushroom is an invaluable contribution. Mushrooms are rich in protein, carbohydrates and vitamins and low in caloric value. Their cultivation is being promoted in Haryana. It's an export-oriented cash crop, earning and contributing to the economy of the state. Haryana has shown increased production during 2001-2002 for different types of moist of mushrooms. Dingri variety oyster mushrooms of different sizes are shown. And behind that, the peace and beauty depicted in the Bihar tableau, the Mahabodhi Vihar of Budgaya. And to continue the commentary, we have Brigadier Chitranjan Savant. Dhanyavad Sunit, Mahabodhi Vihar, Baudh Bhikshu, Shanti ke Pratik, Sabse Aage, Gautam Buddh ki Pratima, Aur Woh Bodhi Vriksh, Jiske Niche Baiht Kar Ke Siddharth Ban Gaye Thhe, Buddh Gyan Prapt Hua Tha, Aur Mahabodhi Mandir. Mantra Buddham Sharanam Gachami Dhammam Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami 
बुद्ध की शरण में जाओ धर्म की शरण में जाओ और संघ की शरण में जाओ यही नहीं बल्कि इस झांकी में विभिन्न देशों से आए इसको एक पहचान मिली है और इसकी बहुत मांग है महाराष्ट्र की झांकी के ट्रैक्टर भाग में लकड़ी की बल्लियों से बनाई गई झोपड़ी थी और अब महाराष्ट्र की झांकी में आप समय समय पर वहां होने वाले नृत्य की भी रूपरेखा देख रहे हैं ये जन जातियां हैं जो न केवल नृत्य करती हैं बल्कि नृत्य के साथ व्यायाम तर्पा नृत्य इसका नाम है महाराष्ट्र की झांकी कर्नाटक कर्नाटक आधुनिकता का प्रतीक इस समय क्षमा कीजिएगा आंध्र प्रदेश आधुनिकता का प्रतीक इंटरनेट प्रौद्योगिकी उपभोक्ताओं को अपनी पसंद के अनुसार सामग्री और सेवाओं तक पहुंचने और उन्हें प्राप्त करने के लिए जन जन को सशक्त बना रही है सरकार भी इस परिवेश में है आंध्र प्रदेश राज्य की झांकी में राज्य सरकार का एक साधारण नैतिक उत्तरदायी संवेदनशील और पारदर्शी सरकार स्थापित करने में दर्शाया गया है इंटरनेट से किस तरह हम दूर दूर तक पहुंच जाते हैं एक दूसरे से हम संदेश देते और लेते हैं और सामान्य जन इसका लाभ उठा रहे हैं यही आंध्र प्रदेश की इस झांकी का संदेश है उप प्रधानमंत्री श्री लाल कृष्ण आडवाणी तल्लीन होकर के देख रहे थे उड़ीसा रघुराजपुर धार्मिक नगरी पुरी के पास रघुराजपुर गांव अपनी परंपरागत चित्रकारी के लिए प्रसिद्ध है कपड़े पर रंगीन चित्रकारी नाम पटा कलात्मक रचना मुखौटा बनाने की और उस माध्यम से अपने विचारों को प्रदर्शित करते हैं प्राचीन कला संस्कृति यहाँ की धरोहर है देखिए आगे बैठा कितनी तल्लीनता से ये व्यक्ति उसे उकेर रहा है रघुराजपुर को कलात्मक अभिव्यक्ति करने के प्रतीक के रूप में यहाँ पर चित्रित किया गया है उड़ीसा की ये झांकी विभिन्न मुखौटे और अब उत्तर प्रदेश रीनी खन्ना Thank you, Brigadier Sabanth. The blue pottery of Kurja is what is being depicted in the tableau from Uttar Pradesh. The history of the blue pottery industry of Kurja is more than 500 years old, and there are a lot of pottery units working there. The excellent quality of crockery and artistic items, earthenware and stoneware that is produced here. You can see the potter's wheel that is moving so swiftly round and round. Clay being molded into beautiful shapes. Things that we use to adorn our homes with. The spirit of industry that is enshrined in the traditional Indian values taking an artistic form here. And you can hear the strains of music from the tableau from Charkand the tribal artists performing the paika dance a state which is full of natural resources and is endowed with hills and forests that give them a lot of agricultural produce the santals who are residents of the state of charkand the statue of bhagwan birsa munda as you can see in the front portion of the tableau he has sacrificed his life for the freedom of the country and as they celebrate their new statehood as well as tradition and culture that is so uniquely theirs the women 
of Santal cleaning grain and performing on that tableau. The traditional house displayed on the rear portion of this tableau. And moving from Jharkhand to the southern part of the country, to the state of Kerala, the martial art form of Kerala on display here, Kalari Payata. The Prime Minister watching the tableaus as well as our visiting dignitary, His Excellency Mohammed Khatami. You can see the martial artists of Kerala displaying their prowess, their skill and their training, Kalari Payata. Kalari means arena and Payata means skill training or practice. You can also see the armed combat with a unique weapon called Urumi, which is a flexible sword that is kept in the waist belt. On the tableau, you can see the skill with which these artists are able to defend themselves a demonstration being provided to the spectators here who the are watching this wide-eyed all under the supervision of a guru who is also present on that tableau from Kerala to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu where we have the Vimanas or the temple architecture the South Indian temples which are unique in their appearance with the stepped pyramid-like structures that are given on these temples on a prismatic base the temple that symbolizes the Shaivite concept of Hindu Trinity the Vimanam which is the inner sanctum of the temple structure and the Upanam which is the bottommost member of the structure the Vimanam includes the inner sanctum the Garbhagraham and the roof that stands atop it. Here we have an illustration of a Vimana from the Venki Swaram temple at Vadapalani in Chennai district. The Vadapalani temple is famous for the cult of Murugan Skanda and it also houses a linga in the form of Gajaprastha. <laughs> The beautiful colors, the golden kopurams that you can see. The South Indian temples are renowned for their color combinations. Intricate figures that adorn these vimanas. As the tableau moves forward, we now have the gaddis from Himachal Pradesh. The traditional and primitive lifestyle of the Gaddis were the original inhabitants who later migrated to Bhatiat and Kangra regions of Himachal Pradesh. The Gaddi is a traditional shepherd and he rears sheep, as you can see on this tableau. There are only models of the sheep that we have here. It would be difficult to keep real sheep on that tableau. And you have uh, the snow-clad mountains that you can see here. The snow beautifully resting atop that mountain in spite of the bright sun here. And talking about the sun, we move to the sunny shores of Goa. The sun-drenched beaches, the historic monuments and the rich cultural heritage that is present there in the form of temples and churches and a lifestyle that attracts everyone to the shores of Goa. A harmony of the East and West existing in the people there who belong to different socio-religious sections of society. The fisherwoman offering her fish to the people here. An integral part of Goan culture, fish. You can see the fisher folk dancing with their catch for the day. The catchy music of Tableau from Goa. A very familiar tune there. 
As you can see the dancers atop the tableau. A tune that has been adopted by the Hindi film industry in their films. The large fish there, opening and closing its mouth and moving its fins. As you can see the fisher folk down below pulling their catch into the shore. And of course we also have moving shellfish on Rajput. This is the tableau that usually attracts a lot of attention in Delhi because it is so unique and colorful and of course the catchy music that they play evokes a splendid response here. And to tell us more now about the tableaus here is Mita. अगली झांकी उत्तरांचल से नैनाभिराम हिमालय श्रेणी में बसा नवगठित उत्तरांचल हर उस प्राकृतिक सुंदरता से परिपूर्ण है जिसकी आप कल्पना कर सकते हैं फिर चाहे बर्फीले पहाड़ हों या फिर बलखाती नदियां या फिर अद्वितीय हरियाली उत्तरांचल की सुंदरता हर किसी को मंत्रमुक्त कर देती है और ये हमारे आज के अति विशिष्ट मेहमान इस परेड का आनंद लेते हुए झांकी के अगले भाग में ऐतिहासिक एवं वास्तु शिल्प की दृष्टि से महत्वपूर्ण चंपावत के प्राचीन बालेश्वर मंदिर दर्शाए गए हैं और इसके पीछे के हिस्से में पारंपरिक फूल दे त्योहार को दिखाया गया है युवतियां फूल दे गीत गाते हुए झूम रही हैं और इसके पीछे विशाल ब्रह्म कमल के साथ विभिन्न प्रकार के फूलों को दर्शाया गया है झांकी के दोनों तरफ सर्वधर्म संभाव के प्रतीक चर्च गुरुद्वारे और मंदिरों को दर्शाया गया है और ये आसाम असम की ये झांकी इस वर्ष यहाँ के परंपरागत मुखौटों एवं मुख भावना पर केंद्रित है मुखौटे यहाँ की जनभावना से जुड़े हैं जो कि भगवान गणेश से लेकर दस सिर वाले रावण तक को प्रदर्शित कर रहे हैं मुखौटों का निर्माण मिट्टी लकड़ी बांस और कपड़े से किया जाता है और फिर इन्हें परंपरागत तरीकों से रंगा जाता है झांकी के पहले बाग में आप जटायु का मुखौटा तथा परंपरागत कलाकारों को मुख भावना का प्रदर्शन करते हुए देख सकते हैं दशानन नरसिंह तथा बरहा का मुखौटा भी झांकी में प्रदर्शित किया गया है पीछे कलाकार को आप मुखौटा तैयार करते हुए देख सकते हैं झांकी के साथ साथ कलाकार परंपरागत वाद्य यंत्रों पर नृत्य करते हुए चल रहे हैं और राजपथ पर अगली झांकी पंजाब से फुलकारी पंजाब की एक महत्वपूर्ण लोक कला है फुलकारी का अर्थ है फूलों की कढ़ाई जिसमें पंजाबी स्त्रियां अपने आंचल दुपट्टों में रेशमी धागों से फुलकारी तैयार करती हैं और ये गिद्दा करती बोलियां डालती हुई पंजाब की स्त्रियां झांकी के पहले भाग में आप फुलकारी से सजा दुपट्टा होड़े एक पंजाबी दुल्हन को देख सकते हैं और उसके पीछे नाचती गाती गिद्दा करती बोलियां डालती पंजाबी स्त्रियां फुलकारी पंजाब का एक घरेलू उद्योग मशीन को भी मार्क करता है किस तरह से हर रंग बिरंगे धागों को वो एक परिधान का एक चुनरी का एक ओढ़ने का रूप दे देते हैं फुलकारी से कई चीज़ें बनाई जाती हैं ओढ़नियाँ सूट और इनसे वहाँ की जो घरेलू उद्योग कला है ख़ास तौर पर गाँव की वो पनप रही है ट्रैक्टर के अगले भाग में आपने देखा होगा दुल्हन सिर पर फुलकारी ओढ़े परंपरागत तरीके से और अब जो झांकी आ रही है उसे 
आज ही के दिन उसका राज और भेद खुलता है और आप समझ गए होंगे वो है केंद्रीय लोक निर्माण विभाग की और इससे पहले कि मैं आपको बताऊं कि क्या है आप स्वयं समझे पंचतंत्र की एक कहानी है और उसका यह है कि जो थोड़ा भी जीव अगर चतुर होगा नाम आपने पढ़ लिया चतुर खरगोश और किस प्रकार के जंगल के राजा शेर ने उसको भरमाया लेकिन यह सब आपने देखा फनकारों ने फूलों को इस तरह से गूंधा है कि उनकी सुगंध तो वातावरण में फैलेगी ही साथ ही पंचतंत्र की इस कहानी को चतुर खरगोश जाकर जब शेर को बताता है कि हुजूर आप मुझे खा लीजिएगा लेकिन आपका एक साथी वहां कुएं में मौजूद है और वो भी उसी तरह से लालच ललचा रहा है और यह है दिल्ली के पुलिस कमिश्नर श्री आर एस गुप्ता चश्मे में और अन्य मेहमानों के साथ उनके ऊपर बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी थी जिसे सफलतापूर्वक उनके पुलिस दल ने निभा जहां तक सुरक्षा का मतलब है श्री गुप्ता बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी दिल्ली पुलिस की आज जिस तरह से हालात और परिस्थितियां हैं आतंकवादी कार्रवाइयां शांति भंग करने के प्रयास ये सब तो बात मैं कर रहा था आपसे जहां की बहुत ही सुंदर और उसमें उस खरगोश की कहानी जिसके कहने से वो शेर महाशय ये देख के कुएं में कोई और उन्होंने जब गुर्राया तो वो खुद ही कुएं में कूद पड़े कि उनका दुश्मन जो है वो ही सब कैसे कर सकता है हर झांकी में हमारे देश की संस्कृति झांकती है और यह है विदेशों से आए हुए प्रतिनिधि इनमें से कुछ हैं जो इंटर पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्फ्रेंस में शामिल होने आए बताए वो भी यहाँ पर विराजमान है एक अपूर्व उत्साह होता है भारतीय सैनिकों की परेड उसके पश्चात ये झांकियां नौसेना और वायुसेना की झांकियां उन सब ने देश को एक बार फिर विश्वास दिलाया है कि भारत उनके निगहबानी में सुरक्षित है ये झांकी मैपर्स ऑफ द नेशन सर्वे भारत का जो सर्वे विभाग है उसकी तरफ से यानी नक्शे से ही आप समझ गए होंगे और यह खाद्य उद्योग यानी फूड प्रोसेसिंग जिनका काम है खाद्य प्रसंस्करण ये डिब्बा बंद जो खाना आजकल हर तरह सफाई के साथ हाइजीनिक दृष्टि से और उसमें मछली भी हो सकती है मांस भी हो सकता है सब्जियां भी हो सकती हैं इनका सारा सफाई छटाई प्रसंस्करण और पैकेज जैसे जो मूल्य संवर्धन कार्य हैं ये विदेशों में भी जाते हैं फिर दूध है दही है मैंगो पापड़ आप देख रहे हैं ताज़ा जूस फलों का इन डिब्बों में बिल्कुल सुरक्षित रहता है तो एक बहुत बड़ा उद्योग ये जिसकी ये झांकी आप देख रहे हैं और आज पहले विदेशों में जाने वाले लोग बातें करते थे कि वहाँ डिब्बों में जूस मिलता है लेकिन आज भारत की हर दुकान पर गाँव गाँव में आपको ये सारे पदार्थ जो हैं वो डिब्बा बंद मिलते हैं सुरक्षित होते हैं खाने में और रेलवे देश का सबसे बड़ा उद्योग जिसे कहा जाता है माल परिवहन किस तरह से और गार्ड बाबू को मुलाजे कीजिए आप हाथ में अपनी वो बत्ती हरी गाड़ी को चलने का इशारा कभी स्ट्रीम इंजन होते थे कभी डीजल और यह है मालगाड़ी का वो डब्बा आम आदमी के लिए परिवहन के साधन के रूप में तो है ही लेकिन देश की आर्थिक गतिविधि के रूप में औद्योगिक उन्नति के साधन के रूप में भी रेलवे बहुत बड़ा आप जानना चाहेंगे 6000 हजार मालगाड़ियां रोजाना दौड़ती हैं और गार्ड बाबू ने सीटी बजाई और झंडी दिखा दी और एक बहुत पुराना गाना मुझे याद आया गार्ड बाबू गार्ड बाबू सीटी ना बजाना यानी गाड़ी जब रोकनी थी तो इस तरह की चीजें इन गाड़ियों को देख कर आती हैं और शुरू में जो सिग्नल लिए हुए महोदय थे जिनके लिए मैंने कहा कि ये झंडी दिखा रहे हैं उनका नाम आपको मैं इसलिए बाद में बता रहा हूं कि आपको याद रहे भोलू तो भोलू महाशय गाड़ी को लिए हुए आगे और गाड़ बाबू झंडी दिखाते हुए बहुत ही सुंदर झांकी रेलवे पर हमारा आना जाना सामान लाना ले जाना कायम करता है और अब जबकि हाइड्रो पावर यानी पन बिजली स्वच्छ बिजली 
दिखाने के लिए किस तरह से वो उसका उत्पादन होता है ये झांकी आ रही है आगे सुनी टंडन थैंक यू वेरी मच जसदेव जी दिस इज द टैबलो फ्रॉम एन एच पी सी डिपेक्टिंग हाइड्रो पावर क्लीन पावर see it passing down past the saluting this the presence of abundant water can be put to good use by reshaping its natural flow of rivers diverting the same and generating electricity to enlighten all of us and now the tableau from the ministry of human resource development the department of secondary and higher education depicting strides in education the tableau shows the spread of education to all from children to adults and all sections of society it depicts the use of diverse media to support the efforts of spreading education through various government sponsored schemes and as well as the role of ngos and there we see traditional education also under a banyan tree the gurukul and now approaching the saluting days is the tableau of the ministry of defense depicting synergy of defense efforts indian ordnance factories have a unique honor of completing 200 years in defense production in our country the organization is engaged in production of arms ammunition tanks vehicles and general stores and we see them all depicted here in this tableau in symbolic form the tableau depicts an ordnance factory worker with some products proudly saluting the nation we are totally dependent on ofb and with that we come to yet another important sector that is the department of telecommunication information technology and communication dur sanchar vibhag this is the sixth largest network of telephones in the world and is always committed to the service of the people of india the growth of telephone sector has boosted the economy no doubt which is reflected in the gdp basic telephone services have brought about a vast changes in the life of people people in the northern borders soldiers etc all can talk to their families and here is a far flung village uh, internet dhaba which is a new word coined where you can go and work on the internet the technology advance has made a country an international hub and no doubt our president is fully admiring it Welcome to Indira Gandhi International Airport. Well, not literally, but at least uh, philosophically. Here is the display of Ministry of Civil Aviation. India is scaling new heights. That's the motto of the tableau here. The little Maharaja seen here. Civil Aviation Ministry is projecting a three-dimensional see-through model of an Air India plane, highlighting its improved interiors, flat beds, DVD, and installation of the advanced. Cat 3A landing system at IGI Airport. The tableau depicts a replica of a bird's eye view of the futuristic airports, with model planes landing in foggy conditions, so much needed in the Delhi conditions. What do you say, Praful? I fully agree. And sometimes back we had mentioned our president's remark on this uh, performance of civil aviation that they should not be deterred by uh, lack of visibility by fog. And I'm sure that will not happen uh, in future, Nalin. No doubt, but this is a wonderful sight. It is so awe-inspiring, and such pride when you see the National Bravery Award-winning children atop caparisoned elephants, ten girls and eleven boys who have been selected for the awards for the year 2002, and President APJ Abdul Kalam waving out to them. President Kavmi also. Everyone's smiling because these are exceptional young souls. who without a second thought undertook amazing acts of bravery to save someone else these are the names of the various awardees and you can see all of them on the screen running across in that scroll as these proud children move her down rajpath before the, there is also the geeta chopra award for exceptional bravery which goes this year in fact uh, that has gone to kumari goodi ben kalubhai mashar from gujarat who on the night of 22nd march 2002 saved a 2 year old child being attacked by a wild beast disregarding her life and getting injured in the act
that was the special prize for the year, the Geeta Chopra Award. And then there is the Sanjay Chopra Award also, which go, has gone to Master Chandan Paswan, Alias Pintu from Uttar Pradesh, who in September 2001, when three students of the Saraswati Shishu Mandir, Anup Singh, Deepak Singh and Chandan Singh were bathing in the Tones rivers, they started drowning. Chandan Paswan, seeing them, jumped into the river and saved Chandan Singh and Deepak Singh, but could not rescue Anup Singh, as unfortunately a strong current carried him away. Girls, pipes and drums. This is again a vast mix of the girl pipes and drums. Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur Kanya Vidyale Sis Ganj School. Girls, Guru Nanak Kanya Vidyale Sabdi Mandi Girls, Deshmukh Public School Vivek Vihas and New Green Field School Saket. All the students, girls from this are a part of this band. And they are playing the tune Swati. And they are leading the boys and girls behind them carrying saffron, white and green flag. Flag bearer girls come in next. Sarvode Kanya Vidyale Samalaka. The 10 schools here. Girls schools from Delhi. Brought in here. Sarvode Kanya Vidyale Mahipalpur. Rajki Kanya Vidyale Ambedkar Nagar. Sarvode Kanya Vidyale Nangloi. Victoria Kanya Vidyale Nangloi. Rajpur Road. Salwan Kanya Vidyale Rajendra Nagar. Garibram Memorial Vidyale Murti Mot. Queen Mary School Tisu Zarid. D Public School Basant Kunj. And Sant. Margaret School, Rohini, they are all here so colorfully, bringing alive the tricolors here at Rajpath. Well, coming up are the flag bearers boys, drawn from nine boys schools, and they herald the cultural pageant of children carrying colorful flags, representing almost a mini India, if I could say so. Drawn from different schools, including the Rajkia Barisht Vidyale, Mansurova Garden, Delhi, the Jain Sanskrit Bal Vidyale from Delhi, Commercial Bal Vidyale, Delhi, Mother Divine School, Delhi, all of them. Followed by the band by schoolboys playing the tune Bharat Ke Saput from seven Delhi schools marching towards the days. President Abdul Kalam has a soft corner for children. He loves interacting with children, students, all of them and sharing his vision for India and hearing them ask questions and answering them back because he believes it's the future minds of this country which will shape the destiny of this country and make it what it deserves to be a superpower in this 21st century. Praful. Absolutely and this brings us to uh, the next stage of our grand parade where the school children will bring out in various dance forms, various themes intently admired by the chief guest and the president. We have Hum Ek Chaman Ke Pool, Unity and Diversity by Ryan International School. India is a land of gardens and have many kinds and kinds of flowers with beautiful colors. And we are amongst these flowers which are, which are made into one garland because besides belonging to different religions and castes, this particular way be, fills us with love and takes us close to God. No doubt, Rayan International School brings us this beautiful message. <laughs>
deserved appreciation from the president and the chief guest hum ek chaman ke phool that was a message from these young ladies from uh, ryan international school and we are all together in the service of the motherland that is the theme for the next one sarvodaya balika vidyalaya samalaka bring out the love for motherland at every stage of life with whole heart promise and karmas one should pray to our motherland and should take lessons from its history to build a new and better nation that is the theme from rashtra aradhan Following that beautiful display is the next item called Vishwam Shishobitam, where the girls of Rani Durgavati Sarvodaya Vidyale Kidwai Naga New Delhi will, through their presentation, showcase the value of protecting nature. The very existence of humanity hinges on the upkeep of nature, which provides various means of livelihood. And the presidential enclosure, the said the saluting days, including President Abdul Kalam. our guests all of them enjoying this next the earlier presentations and awaiting the next one on the theme of nature
director's full appreciation to the students depicting the protection of nature. And now girls of Queen Mary School, Tis Hazari, bring out vibrant colors of India. India is famous, of course, for varied culture, ancient beliefs, spiritualization, democratic setup, and various other high marks, high points. With it comes the various festival belonging to religions and castes. But the festival of Holi is superior to all and it is used to urge the people to forget the differences. Following that Mizuram splash of colour will be the Chero dance from the state of Mizoram in the northeast, a popular tribal dance which is performed on the occasion of Buzha Ai. Girls perform this dance to gongs and drums, and they are wearing their traditional costumes of Ponchoi, Kauchoi, Vakiria, and Tholna. These are all tribal costumes. The popularly Ponchoi is called, of course, the Puan from uh, Mizoram intricate designs hand woven and they'll be doing a bamboo dance between the beats of it which requires exceptional dancing skills so coming up next will be the chero dance from the state of Mizoram you can't be caught on the wrong foot in this dance uh, Nalin well yes I have happened to see it there in Mizoram also it is a beautiful dance and I'm sure everyone here would enjoy it you're right about that you know
Shero dance from Mizoram state and now we bring you Meer Ras from West Zone Culture Center Udaipur Ras as you know is a popular dance of Gujarat which is performed on the occasion of Navaratras It is said that the tradition of Ras came from Lord Krishna from Vrindavan Meer to Gujarat Ras. Particularly Meer Ras on the other hand is performed by Rajputs and it's also known as maniara ras the difference is that this dance adorned with kerya churni and turban on his head the dancer dances to the rhythm of dhol with dandiya in his hands with the rhythm of dhol and singer sings chand and dohas in which he praises the brave deeds of the warriors this is a dance for the warrior by the warrior of the warrior Shri Kalpesh Dalal of Ahmedabad has composed this unique presentation. Enjoy Meer Ras. Shrimati Sushma Swaraj, Shri L.K. Advani. Ramin Beti Ki Abhilasha. It is a message from Rainbow English Senior Secondary School, Janakpuri. They tell us that the future of India lies in the hands of younger generation and to achieve this education should be made available to all, including the underprivileged, which are spread in remote and backward areas, including the girls. Girls, normally associated with housekeeping, etc., can prove their mettle in battlefield if the time demands. There should be no differentiation in the matter of education. It should be equally available to both boys and girls. This eagerness of the girl child and allowing them to do so by the parents to play an active role in the development and prosperity of a nation is brought out in a fabulous way by the girls of Rainbow English Senior Secondary School. And this, a crowd gathered out here, are fully appreciative of the spirit of the children this morning.
Following that display will be now a display by performance by children from the Lady Irvin School in Canning Lane in New Delhi who are depicting Uttar Purvi Sanskriti or the North East Panorama showing how rich and varied our cultures, religions, castes and different languages of India are but yet the underlying theme remains that we are one despite our unity and diversity and these school kids will now be presenting their dance, culture, living styles from the northeast in the beautiful Kabila tradition. The Northeast Panorama was in fact brought in by Lady Irvin School, Canning Lane, here. Yeah. The next one is Divya Jyoti, the Eternal Light, displayed so beautifully by Yuva Shakti Model School, Rohini. In front of these dignitaries, these young persons have come to offer the graceful charm, beauty and the holy light which enlightens the whole world with love, peace and prosperity. Beauty and the extreme sacrifices of the soldiers of India is symbolized through the butterflies here, Divya Jyoti.
following that beautiful performance is the Kohli Nitya being performed by the South Central Zone Cultural Center Nagpur. We can see the dignitaries, all of them enjoying it here. That's External Affairs Minister Yashwan Sinha, Srimati Sushma Swaraj, Minister of Information Broadcasting, the Deputy Prime Minister of India, Sri L.K. Advani, Mrs. Advani, and that's Pratipa Advani. So the full family here enjoying the Republic Day Parade and the performances here. And the Kohli dance of Maharashtra is performed by Kohli's who are the traditional fishermen. Coming up next will be the Daredevil's team, a motorcycle display led by Captain Sukhbir Ojia. These Daredevils have entered their name in the Guinness Book of World Records in 2001 by forming the largest human pyramid on 10 motorcycles. We will see one after the other phenomenal feats of balance, precision and Daredevil displays which has bound to leave all of us, including the spectators here live and on television, the viewers, absolutely spellbound. Different maneuvers we'll see one after the other, starting with Arya's vision, the maneuver with eight day devils called the Mercury's Pride, followed by Abhimuneo, and a unique Shraddhanjali with ten men. And finally, it'll be the grand finale, a floral tribute in the form of a lotus with ten men holding aloft an Indian flag with a figure of God of Mercury on it. And finally, above all, a human pyramid with 30 men, 31 men only on seven motorcycles. We can see the first motorcycle making its way. There it is on Rajpath. The Daredevils. You can see how difficult it is to balance your motorcycle standing aloft. What do you say, Vijay? Absolutely. It is absolutely uh, riding a motorcycle by itself is quite uh, uh, intricate. But here he is, not even sitting down. And not just uh, just riding by, he's also supposed to salute, salute the Supreme Commander and also maintain his uh, stability and perfect balance. 
Superb. Absolutely superb. And no wonder this is enthralling. You can see the spectators all around, starting from the saluting days for the president, the chief guest, the prime minister, down to the VIP gallery, and all the spectators gathered here, clapping away, enjoying this spellbinding display of talent, precision, and courage. We know. And so much of coordination that is required. Look at this one. Even if one has to sneeze, you can imagine the after effects of that. How they'll all come tumbling down, but that will not happen here. We know you've served in the armed forces, so you know how it is about discipline. Certainly an extreme uh, and formidable display of courage and discipline. Dedication also. No wonder they're so unique, so beautiful, so wondrous really. And they have really uh, found their place, no doubt, in the Guinness Book of World Records. And uh, now we see how this has been made possible with these daredevils coming in with this uh, fascinating display of skill and coordination. Absolute beauty they look. Such talent, such beauty, such confidence, such coordination between man and machine. And so many men and so many machines at that. This VIP gallery totally struck, wonderstruck by this beautiful display of the Daredevil's team from the Corps of Signals of Indian Army. And now we are waiting for the fly pass, the most fascinating aspect of this parade. This uh, fly pass will carry 20 aircrafts of Indian Air Force. First, there will be helicopters coming in, three MI-25 and MI-35 attack helicopters. They are coming in in VIC formation here, flying at a speed of 210 kilometers per hour at a, fly, at a height of 300 meters. The formation is led by Wing Commander Sunil Kumar. Look at these uh, attack helicopters coming in this beautiful wick formation, coming down across Rajpath, along Rajpath, I should say, so beautifully talented display of these flyers of the Indian Air Force. The helicopter flyers absolutely coordinated to split second coordination between the control rooms here and the machines and men on top. Right here they are. They look so beautiful, don't they? MI helicopters in WIC formation, they can create havoc, led by Wing Commander Sunil Kumar, now on the top of Rajpath, right in front of the Supreme Commander. The people here absolutely delighted by the sight of it. The sun has also given way to this beautiful uh, display, which is so beautifully seen by everyone here at Rajpath. And as we go along through our millions and millions of viewers across the world, all thanks to Doordarshan, India. The next one will be a formation comprising uh, three types of uh, transport aircraft. These are the bigger aircrafts, as you know. First one will be in IL-76. This is a giant uh, transport aircraft in the center. The other two will be an AN-32s and two more will be Dornier aircrafts. They are all flying in big boy formation. IL-76 is a long haul heavy lift aircraft which is used for paradropping of the troopers. Comes in the center, the AN-32 and the Dornier are medium and short range aircrafts with medium and light aircraft capabilities, air lift capabilities. Big boy formation will fly past at a speed of 330 kilometers per hour at a height of 300 meters. Very, very difficult to fly at this uh, uh, height for these giant aircraft. No wonder they're called the big boys. This is, formation is led by Wing Commander Xavier Israel. That is uh, big boy formation of the three one plus four transport aircrafts. That is IL-76, AN-32s and two Dornier aircrafts. Now in display. Absolutely delightful here. Such fine visibility also. All thanks to the nature. So beautiful. We have seldom seen them so beautifully uh, seeable, perceivable, feelable, so close to us, and still far away they go away. And the next one will be 10 Jaguar aircrafts in arrowhead formation. These are deep penetrating strike aircrafts that are flying at a speed of 780 kilometers per hour. True to its name, the Jaguar is used to impel deadly and accurate strikes deep within the enemy territory. 
The first formation is led by Wing Commander S.N. Dandokar and the second one led by Wing Commander P. Mukhopadhyay. We are now awaiting the 10 Jaguars. Arrowhead formation, they'll be forming and when they come down on the battlefield, they create havoc in the minds of the enemy. These are the Jaguar aircraft now being seen by you. As by the people present here at Rajpath. In the background, you see the dome of the Rashtrapati Bhavan and Rashtrapati himself here, along with the chief guest. Ten Jaguars. And later will be three Sukhois who will be following the Jaguars. We are now awaiting. They have to be maintaining some sort of a distance between the slower aircraft, the transport aircraft, and the fighter one. These 10 Jaguar aircrafts coming in now in the Arrowhead formation. All eyes up front. Here they are. The 10 Jaguar aircraft, Arrowhead formation. Wing Commander S.J. Nanodkar, that is the first formation being led by him. Five of them, five Jaguars fly away so majestically into the high skies, so beautifully timed, so beautifully aligned in the Arrowhead formation. And we are now awaiting the second formation. Second one will be led by Wing Commander P. Mukhopadhyay. There they are. Don't they look so beautiful? Amazing skills, flying capabilities, all five of them as if they're driving on the land. So majestic formation here. And then these are the Sukhois. The three Sukhois will fly in Trishul maneuver. Ekram, the center one, carry Wing Commander Omesh Rakra. He will perform the victory roll, which is three and a half turn vertical Charlie. And the side ones will carry out upward and split leader movement. Slightly difficult for our camera to catch those finer aspects. However, this uh, congregation here at Rajpath has seen it all here, bringing the grand finale to the wonderful celebrations of the 54th Republic Day here at Rajpath in New Delhi. Isn't that fascinating, Nalan? No doubt about it. The excitement was literally palpable, as you could have seen. All the spectators glued, their eyes glued to the skies and jumping up with excitement and clapping as the formations made past. Just flew past the saluting days. The presidential bodyguard is arriving to escort the president, the chief guest. And our colleague, Praful Bakshi, is back with us as he was commenting about the fly past just a few minutes ago on... The DD National Channel. So, Praful, how does it feel to have once again been here and witnessed the fly pass before your eyes? Nalin, it was a great moment indeed because it reminds you of the days gone by when you took part in these activities. But the fly pass itself is not only a most thrilling event, but it shows us what is the airmanship about, what is the flying skill about, and what is the intense training about which the Indian Air Force has to undertake for years and years on to get this perfection. This great spectacle really brings to notice the three visions of our president. To a statement to the press some time ago, he had mentioned, I have three visions of India. My first vision is that of freedom. It is this freedom we must protect and nurture and build on. If we are not free, we are not respected. The second vision is development. We are among the top five nations of the world in GDP. We are the second largest producer of wheat in the world. We are the second largest producer of rice. We are the first in the milk production. We are number one in remote sensing satellite. His third vision is that India must stand up to the world. Only strength respects strength, says President APJ Abdul Kalam. We must be strong not only as a military power, but also as an economic power. Both go hand in hand. These were the words of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the president who took over the office on 25th of July, 
cheer, color, and celebration. Now the president's bodyguard is ready. And just before that, this wonderful display of these tricolored balloons going up into the sky. And with them go the aspirations and expectations of the people of India, of the whole world indeed. The VVIPs now getting ready to depart from Rajpath. The two presidents, the Republic of India and the uh, Republic of uh, Iran, Sayyid Mohammad Khatami, the president of Iran, the chief guest of these celebrations, departing now along with President Abdul Kalam. This wonderful display has really been uh, beautified by the backdrop of blue skies and not the gray ones that we, we have been used to last couple of uh, weeks in Delhi. Today has been absolutely fascinating and really heartwarming. Greetings from us to all our countrymen living in India or outside on the 54th day, 54th Republic Day from uh, Vinod Krishna, Praful Bakshi and Nalinas Kohli on this uh, DD India, DD Metro and other channels. The President being seen now by the Vice President, the Defence Minister in his uh, address to the nation the president had uh, mentioned that there is role for every citizen to build and develop India. And he has imbibed great expectations and trust in the youth of India. He talks of transformed India in 2020. He has met more than one lakh children during the last seven months. In his recent meeting with 9,000 children in Kolkata, he really enthralled them by his gracious presence, that is President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. President's bodyguard, led by their commandant, Colonel Bhavani Singh, and supported with the second in command, Major Bhana Pratap Singh, escort the two presidents back to Rashtrapati Bhavan on our left. It is time to draw curtain to yet another grand spectacle that was Republic Day 2003. Having braven the vagaries of the last century, India has entered. The dignitaries, the Prime Minister, the Vice President, the Defence Minister now awaiting their respective carcades to take them away into the busy schedules of the working of the government. It's been a fine day here, continues to be so, very warm and nice, giving relief to the millions of people here. So with that, we greet you once again, dear viewers, and with this, we take you back to the studios of Doordarshan. Namaskar and Jai Hind.